Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. Thank you guys all for watching the past few videos this week and as well as leaving a comment down below. I have all day, a free day, to reply to comments down below, so please go ahead and leave one. As always, though, let's hop into our first few stories. The first few stories, though, are very exciting today, probably stories you guys have not heard about, and the first does involve Sadakist. I want to preface this first story by saying I have no bad feelings towards guy. He has blocked me on Twitter for something I said a long time ago. I deeply regret what I said, guys. No bad feelings towards the guy. A very, very good commentator, a very good caster, and I do think him and Henry Henry G are one of the better duos in the scene right now ever since Anders and Semler have, have departed ways. So I have nothing bad towards this guys, but I did think this past week in the ECS Season 4 Finals, he might have leaked something for the future of CSGO, but also I want to pre-preface again, this might be a troll, it might be a joke, but I thought it was interesting enough to show to all of you guys. So of course this past weekend, ECS Finals, it was Sadakist and Henry G uh, casting a few of the events down there in Cancun, Mexico. They had a few drinks inside of them, maybe not too much sleep, and they might have said a few things that actually might have been a future leak for CSGO voice packs. Now, I'll touch on that in a little bit. We also heard a lot about the DJ twins. If you guys do not know on screen for all of you, a very popular set of twins on Instagram, and apparently, yes, it was actually Sato Kiss who had spent some time with these girls. We heard, I think it was one map, I think it, we heard about these girls countless times. It was almost a bit over the top. At one point in time, Henry G had to tell Sato Kiss to stop talking about it. I'll show some of those clips with all of you guys right now. Someone's actually found their Instagram and just tweeted it to me. It's DJ Twins underscore official. <laughs> I hope they don't know. That's actually them. They have 321,000 followers. Yeah, that's them. Really? Yep, I, I recognize that ass anywhere. Right, back to the game. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. The group stage right now. Great. Everyone's commenting on it. <laughs> Why are you talking about that? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm focused. I'm focused. We can talk about that after. But why I'm mentioning this is because the fact is this. Sadakist was allowed. This is actually one of the, it was the last event for Henry G and Sadakist of 2017. A great year for the for the pairing. And again, one of the better casters out there. I do I do have to say that. Um, but why I actually say this as well is because they might have had a few drinks inside them, specifically Sadakist. Maybe a, look, a little bit of lack of sleep. And after one round specifically, Sadakist did say something that might have been a future leak for CSGO. And here's what he said. Terrorist control. Bomb planted. Planted indeed. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. Mr. Voice Pack that will soon have Henry G's voice on it. Spoiler incoming. As Rain and Nico take <laughs> down two, Rain will follow it up. So just give it a thought, guys. I know this could be a complete troll. He was making a ton of jokes throughout the entire event. I do realize that, but I thought it was very interesting. What if? Can you imagine this? We have music kits in game right now, right? After every uh, end of the round, whoever is the MVP of the round, their music kit plays. What if the replacement for music kits, or in addition to that, was the caster's in-game voices? Let's say you're the MVP of a round, and instead you want to have Henry G or Sadakus's voice come on and, and commentate really quickly over the round, or maybe for a diffuse kit, that could be the future of CS:GO. That would be insane to see, and maybe just maybe. Maybe a little bit of a drinky, uh, you know, a little bit of a drunk uh, Sata Kiss, a partially drunk Sata Kiss might have leaked that on accident. Who knows though, that probably just a complete troll. I just thought I'd mention to all of you guys. But on top of that, for a very exciting second story, and first off, I do want to thank Daniel for collecting all the evidence of that first story as well. Thanks to my friend Merck for the second story as well. A completely legit story as, con as compared to our maybe troll for a first story. We do actually have apparently artificial intelligence coming to CSGO, and this is in big news. I'm actually talking to the developers of this right now. A potential A AI bot and personal trainer for CSGO is coming out there. As of right now, it's an open beta. I'm going to talk to the guys and try and work out a deal. I'll show you guys the website as well as link it down below for all of you. Yes, this is a personal trainer and personal coaching bot, which will totally identify everything about you and try and have the best training plan possible in real time for you guys watching. It's it's insane to see this actually could be a thing. Of course, the guys working on this are, are PhD students. They went to very astute universities as well. This is not a troll. It's not a joke. Again, I'm talking to these guys very shortly. And I I hope in the future I'll show you guys a video of me actually trying out this AI, this personal training and coaching bot, and see how well this program does work. This could be the future of CSGO and the future of training pro players out there. As of right now, of course, we're very aware of the system out there. If you want to get good at a video game, you have to play the video game continuously, go through the ranks, go through ESCA, go through Face It, and try and get noticed that way. There's really no big training plan out there besides your own personal training. What if you had someone out there, though? Like, you know, we had, of course, the, the old Boomio website where you could actually 
technically get coached through the screen by other pro players out there, but what if you had a system, a downloadable system on your own personal computer, which would train you day in and day out? That is the possibility of the future for CSGO. And again, I'm going to talk to these guys and hopefully get you guys some more information about this. We could have AI bots coming to CSGO to teach you how to play. That, I mean, that, that blew my mind. I cannot wait to share more information about this in the future with all of you. And I do really want to apologize. I know there's a lot of comments out there. Oh, you just cover rumors. You just cover speculation. But if there's no official news out there, I'd love to cover this kind of thing, the kind of things and the tweets that you guys maybe do not see. And that's why you watch these episodes. And this one actually does involve Optic HS. I always call him Headshot. I don't know why. I just kind of infer it does stand for Headshot. Optic HS did tweet out this this past morning, though. And it did kind of allude to maybe a potential change coming to Optic Gaming. We've seen this very much in the past when North American players kind of have these very, very weird tweets out of nowhere that kind of are, uh, I guess he's not a North American player, but we have seen this in the past with former Optic members where they tweet out these very alluding tweets which kind of lead to a future roster changes. That's what Tarek and Rush did before they actually left for Cloud9. They had a bunch of tweets like this out there. And so, of course, you guys read what that tweet said. And of course, as well, if you guys remember to the last Optic Vision episode, I think it was a couple episodes ago, we had Hector talking about if the team were to make changes. He did mention the, the term changes. He didn't make it sound like they were going to make any changes anytime soon, but he did make sure to mention that if, if they were going to make changes, it was going to be a team process and they would make their correct changes when the time was when the time was needed. So uh, do you guys think Optic needs to make changes right now? As of right now, they've only been together for a few months, maybe more at four to five months. So not really too much time spent together so far. And they've only just recently moved back to Europe. But yes, it was HS who was a target of the possible changes. Uh, kind of a fan favorite player to actually really lead the roster was HS. I know he's not particularly probably their weakest member, but he definitely was the guy that people chose as the people, the person to actually leave that roster. I know other people said, of course, Alu after he went back to Rifle could also be an option. We'll see what happens though, guys. Will Optic roster make changes? Who, who really knows at this point in time? It's just a possibility though for sure uh, But after the next major is played out. And also very lastly, I do want to talk about, of course, Smuya. Smuya right now is locked in the Epsilon roster until the end of 2018, making, I think, whatever, whatever he reported was like $700 a month. Of course, not enough to live off there. He also tweeted out a long time ago the fact he needed to actually find a real-life job to support himself because Epsilon had locked him on their bench and was not paying him a sufficient enough salary. It does seem, though, apparently a new announcement is coming sometime soon as he posted this tweet just yesterday as well. And of course, that is Mistu, formerly of LDLC. He's currently on their bench as well. I'm not sure if he's actually technically still on that roster. So we do have Mistu, Smuya, and apparently as well, we have Smuya tweeting Robin's tweet. Robin, apparently a former Danish Singularity member as well. He's actually left that roster. So who knows? Maybe a small tier two, tier three roster coming sometime soon for Smuya. And uh, hopefully, cross your fingers, he makes a roster and can make some extra money because apparently the real life job thing is not working out because we haven't heard much about that ever since. So hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. What the? I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. If you guys did, please leave a like or more importantly, a comment down below. And also, do me a favor, guys. If we break 639 likes, I will contact, I've already contacted them, but I will contact them in further depth and try and contact the AI people of the development team of the AI coaching and personal trainer system. And I will try and get a video dedicated to me showing you guys how that would work out. I think it'd be a very cool inside look. So if we break 639 likes, I'm just joking. I'll do it no matter what. I will do that video for all of you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you guys did, uh, well, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you, and I'll see you all next time. Trouble, huh? Yeah, dink through the box. Gonna have to sit tight like a fox. But I like the way that he walks. Hopefully he doesn't suck too much in this round. <laughs>